All right, everybody, welcome back. That was actually a quick break. So, this is game two of semifinal bracket in between the players in front of us. The red team on the left side, it is pretty mediocre. Tangibility and Rex in the same classic Neo and Tomcat Striker. And we're seeing another repeat tactic from Team Rusty Council, Stuart98 and Shadow Ultima with the Black Ops Helix and the Void Striker. Going for a pretty hard cheese right now. Why didn't Shadow that Ultima have any... cheese, and it's not working out so well because yeah. Rex is there to shut it down. Why? Okay. In fact, I think that Rex and Tangibility are probably thanking them for uh, <laughs> yeah. helping clear the outpost. Weird. Why did they... um? They only went with one set of creeps. That's so strange. I don't think they planned that, I feel like. What was the point? Stuart ran <laughs> off and then Shadow was like, No, come back! Yeah, it was so weird. Anyway, red team taking bottom Kanji left. And then was like, Uh, thanks, bro. And I as don't... you can see, the yield of that is that Mediocre has two outposts, whereas the, the council is just taking their first one. Taking their first one. Um, it's not going to be a dies. huge gap. Oh, what did Stuart die to? A flacker? What was he doing? I didn't even catch that. Uh, he died to a flacker. He was harassing. Great. Shadow Ultima actually also really low on health. Needs to get... Okay. Get healed up there. And he's okay. Tanji gonna be jumping away, but Tanji Stuart is. actually getting... Oh, no. <laughs> the Seeker got the kill on Tanji. That sucks. That kill stealing bastard. Well, so, whatever the case, it's the lines of battle are pretty much being drawn. So I don't know what's with this counter pick map by, uh, you know, Team Rusty Council, but I don't really think they thought it through very much. <laughs> they did not have a clear plan going in. I figured we'll they were like, they have a clear plan going I feel like it was like, eh, storm. You yeah. know, that's that's about the extent <laughs> of planning that they did. And as you can see, some of those red team units are getting killed by the Goliath. Sure. Uh, it's 37 to 29. Tremendous impact. Lots of Longhorn down on the field for the blue team. And uh, red team making short work of recapturing that, aside from a uh, couple of bear traps. I would drop a healing unit there, and like I said, like I predicted, there is the fixer. And Stuart, trying to boost himself away here. Uh, getting caught on terrain, it looks like. Oh, oh, he made it! <laughs> Got him! That was the longest retreat I have ever seen, almost. It's... <laughs> Q-Heal has enabled uh, some strange and wonderful tactics, yeah. I tell ya. Well, that one probably... He probably would have been okay without heal. Um, uh, it was the boost, and he was able to get into his... Um, you know, behind his units. And again, That's he's trying true, to cheese the top. Jump. Letting you sneak over terrain. And they really don't want to let go of top. Once again, it's another set of tier 1 creeps. What are they... What are they thinking? I... I don't know. Maybe he's just looking for something to do when he saw the creeps and he was like, Oh, okay, I'll do that. <laughs> that does seem to be about how... I, well, you know... <laughs> <through there. laughs> I mean, this time Shadow's here. They are not at all coordinated. If they were pushing together with eight infantry units, they'd probably have a much better go of things. Yeah. Uh, you know, it's it's funny. The, the, the blue team has really distracted the crap out of the red team. I don't know if distracted is the right word, but they've been doing all of this irresponsible, Mildly ineffective... For, yeah. But they've prevented them from moving into mid more than they already have. Uh, I would expect them to be further in by now. And Tanji... Oh, I thought he had something in his cargo because he... Um, I would say that their mid position is a little more firm. At this it's, point. Still. It's a little more firm, but I feel like, especially with the number of units on their um, out on the field, and they are... Able to finish off the Goliath already, I feel like they would have been Stewart. with brute drops. And there's the brute drops. And again, gonna try to boost away. I don't think it's gonna work this time. And an immediate long oh, coming no, out. Oh, no! He got it! <laughs> it's so he, oh my goodness, Stuart. <laughs> oh, okay. But uh, those brutes, not gonna do very much, and the lunchbox is going to heal over what they did do immediately. Shadow Ultima actually able to... Oh, lost one Longhorn. It was a trade. He, he ferried over a couple Longhorn, lost one, killed one, and then brought it back. 66 to 64. Very even. Uh, however, it doesn't feel like it's been even. It feels like Council has been, like, overextending and dying over and over again. But they're not doing it at the great expense of units because the cheese they've been doing, well, it's their creeps. Oh, that's the plan. 
don't spend money with your harass by using free units. I get it. That's genius. Genius. Absolute freaking genius. Someone, um... What if, if Stuart's been in control of it this whole time? That's... <laughs> what if it wasn't Rex? Mm. Illuminati. Oh Illuminati stuff confirmed. Council knows things that, that we all don't, apparently. And more as we see, drops. both teams are slowly <laughs> pushing up onto middle as more kind of ineffective harass goes down. Uh, they are going to probably get the kill on that one, Spock. I, I call them random ass drops, is what I'm going to say. Ew! <laughs> so they're pretty rad, huh? Rad? <laughs> Stuart getting finished <laughs> off in the air. You know what his mistake was there? Being in the air. Because every time he's tried to get away on the ground, it's worked. It's worked perfectly. Ground game equals best game confirmed. Ground mech? Exactly. Are we going to have to retitle the entire franchise? That would be hilarious if the next... You know what? They should title Project Cake Ground Mech. Except it. Except there was. Yeah, I, oh, yeah, okay. I, <laughs> okay. I felt the confusion there. But actually. I wasn't familiar. Blue oh team my goodness, this moving up. Off. Blue team moving up, clearing whatever red team da had down there on the bottom. 61 to 63. Tanji, with his jumpers, was able to take that top right outpost and has a lot to reinforce it with. So oh I think. Oh my goodness. It was he definitely. really dug in there. We weren't even looking, but it's all light units. Uh, that's all that he needs. That's all he needs to hold this. Fortune could change very quickly as Longhorns are getting microed in. Rex coming in with some heavier stuff to help button it down. Flackers and Longhorns coming in just in time for that push, and they are probably going to shut this down. Blue team sensing the urgency, deciding to take all of their units from that spot into their back corner post, and it's probably oh, not going to be enough. Very low. Will he walk away? He, he does. Tanji. And Tanji, like, covering him. I don't know if you noticed that, but he, he kept himself as a human or mech shield in front of Rex. So. And that's a very clutch level up. And I say it's so clutch because there just wasn't a lot of energy for healing on that outpost. And the, the recovery from his level gives them just enough breathing room, honestly, to solidify their position and wipe out most of that tank push. Bringing the unit differential pretty extreme. Once again, it's now 80 to 48. So. It, it was kind of funny, right before that outpost grab, the blue team looked like they had a lot of hope in, uh, you know, in taking this game after taking mid, clearing the left side of mid's units, but um, how that once again, well, turns are tabling. There's some, some real flipping turns right now. Lots of turns, lots of turns, lots of tables. Uh, Ratchet the, getting the killed by The turns and the tables are involved with each other somehow. I, I couldn't tell you how exactly. It's probably fifth dimensional stuff that we don't understand, but uh, either way... Maybe it's romance. I don't know. Maybe it's... Anyway, mid's going back under blue control for now, but with such a huge unit cluster in the top, if you just look on the mini-map, that is absolutely massive. And, you know, obviously the economic difference between these two teams is going to start to show now after the red team grabbed you know? that top right post. The 96 to 38 difference. Uh, let's well, let's pretend that's not there for now. That's that's not that important. We don't need to think about that. We don't need to think about how much army these guys have. It's 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 whoever has the most heart, I think. No, <laughs> it's whoever has the most tables to turn. That's true. If uh, if if Shadow and Stuart have any more tables in their pockets, then maybe they want to start pulling them out and tabling and them. And tabling the turns. Right. Post -tabling. Lots of pressure going down by the red team, starting to creep up on mid. Very, very little over here for the blue team to support. Brutes in the post, Brutes going back we're, in. We're more in the phases of finishing the creep than starting it with how many units are left in the blue team. You know what? Oh, I just realized. You know what should, You know what the, what the uh, council guys should do? Grab some creeps and try to cheese. You know what they should do? Call a council meeting into session. Rebalance things real quick, and then get back into the game. Um, that requires a patch. We've been pushing out mid-tournament patches all day. I don't see why we can't. There's no such thing as a mid-game patch, unfortunately, Sim. DCs, you know. DC, that's true. So all they have to do is disqualify themselves. Although at this point, if someone <laughs> DCs, I would pretty much call that a win for Red Team. Look, 94 to 21, they have pretty much the entire map. The only thing that's left is this bottom right post. And Rex is actually moving out before even taking that top right. 
There's still a couple of death traps on the field, though. Can't forget that. However, that's a lot of units over there at the blue fort. Shadow Ultima trying to soar down what he can, but does get finished off by a flacker before he's able to jump to his fort. Stuart trying to do some brute drops again for some reason. And that is a death push. There's uh, nothing more to say. Aside there from, is nothing more to say. Thank really. you for playing Stuart and Shadow Ultima. You gave us some wonderful games today. And uh, you we have can stock a warehouse with all the tables that you turned on us. I think it is legitimate for them to have, uh, you know, their their say in balanced decisions, but right now they don't have any say in continuing on in the tournament. Looks like our finals will be between Team For the Win and Team Pretty Mediocre. Great job, Rusty Council, for getting this far against two tournament champions. Wow. Those were some games. Those were some games. Played. All right, Five guys, players. we are going to have a quick intermission. Enjoy these videos. Enjoy these videos. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.